Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video we are going to do the unboxing and at the end we will do a test flight of unique Typhoon G quadcopter. This is one of the best that you can get with the uh, price because it has watch me feature, it has follow me, it has 3 access gimbal and it has up to 20 mo 25 minutes of flight time and most amazingly it has a steady steady grab handheld uh, for your GoPro so you can off the flight you can do it and also it comes with a controller uh, that has screen and you can control a lot of parameter of the drone so let's do the unboxing okay so this is now the box, once we open it, it has a panel that's covering. The first thing that we see is a quick starter guide, which tells you immediately how you can get started with the drone. That's very nice. This is about the ground imaging system, how can we use that steady grip ground imaging system. So you can put your GoPro and uh, with your phone or other tablet device that you can see your, what you're filming. Know before you fly, so there are some rules. It, it will tell you what to do, what not to do. And also here, there are some warnings. Uh, amongst the warning are that you do not fly it over people, do not fly it close to the airport, do not fly it when there is excessive wind and money other information so this card is also very good because it shows the LED that is on the drone it gives you all the information about that so very nice so we got one pair two pairs we have four pairs so which means we have two sets four can be used and four for uh, later on if you break it so have a box of accessories so let's open it and see what is in the accessory aha uh -huh. okay this is for charging the battery of the GoPro and this is for uh, holding the motor and tightening the propeller These are extra cables and this is a micro USB cable maybe for programming or updating the firmware, nothing else. This is a sunshade for the uh, your phone that you use. So that's a sunshade. So let's remove this and see what we have underneath. Wow! This is the best that you could get. It looks very solid, very powerful motors. Unbelievable. I've seen a lot of different types of drones, but this is very powerful motors. Okay, so as you can see from the front, that is the drone. I'm gonna go through that later. So that, what else we see here? We have the power cable for the charger. Okay, this is a USB connector and USB charger. This is a car charger, very nice through the cigarette lighter. Wow, very heavy 5400 mAh hour battery this is lithium polymer lipo battery okay that is the battery charger okay balance smart battery charger and this is a power supply for this so what you do is you connect this to the wall outlet from here and then you charge your battery 
from here. So that is a connector for the battery. Here we have a lot of warning for that. Let's see what else we have. So I'm going through the small items that you see here first before going for oh this is a video link or FPV antenna this is a GoPro camera cable GoPro camera cable and the cable for the uh, handheld um, ground station handheld imaging and this is the controller extremely sleek high quality very nice unbelievable amazing and then this is a switch um, amazing this is very high quality so we have a gimbal control here with your left thumb from the right so you can speed this up if it when it goes I have to see specifically what it does and this is the handheld imaging system so you can put your device your phone or whatever you have like that so the phone can be installed and attached so what happened is that, that the gimbal that comes with the camera with the drone you remove it from the drone and put it here and then put your GoPro and then film around this is extra thing that they give you that's it so nothing more let me check the drone now as you can see all the motors have been labeled as A and B and C so this is A and also across the screen that you can see this is A and this is A and that's also B and this is also B so let's turn it around that's the video system MK58 as you can see here okay MK58 that a, that's a downlink video that uh, you attach your antenna here and then connect the cable from here to there to transfer the video and this will transmit the video to the ground so this is a cover that holds the gimbal steady for the transportation purpose so we remove that so here as you can see it was holding the whole thing so this was this is just when you transport your uh, drone okay the prop have been labeled as A and B as you can see here this is A and this is B so we have the so for the B you just turn it clockwise we get 2B 1B here and 1B here and turn it clockwise this is done and we need 2A 1A here it should be the opposite always so one more A and then here I'm rotating it the opposite let's install now the GoPro camera they give you this uh, piece and cable so we insert the USB mini USB plug here and then we slide it slide the, the camera from this side as you can see the red button is here so it shows that this has been installed properly turn it around and then insert this nut screw so you can see we have the cable here this cable has two parts 
One is to uh, power the gimbal. This one goes and gets the video to the downlink transmitter. So for the downlink video, it's simple. You plug it in here. And for the gimbal cable, this is where the gimbal cable will be inserted. So, I've attached all the parts except the battery. So the battery needs to be charged, but for sake of this demonstration, before I charge it and try the actual flight, I'm going to just plug it in here now. So, to insert the battery, just, you see, locked, unlocked. This unique power tree should be at the top. Insert it and plug it in. So, the battery is inserted. We have rechargeable battery for this as well. This is this is amazing. So, I switched it on. Wow. So let me put it on on. For on we press it that on the left to the left side. Okay, as you can see it's blinking now. So it's flashing. As you can see I'm now controlling the gimbal. Very nice. I'm pressing this. So with this I'm controlling the gimbal. One important step that you need to do before you do any flight to bind the MK58. This is MK58 as I mentioned. So we have to bind this to the transmitter with a video so we know our system know, knows it's active okay so for that purpose now you can see I'm going to the flight setting okay correct okay and then camera select so we see so many GoPro so this is GoPro it says setup complete. Go back screen and click on bind. Okay, that's a model and that's a camera as you can see here for the bind. So this is MK that I have. Connection established. It's established. Click exit and then exit. So I'm getting the, the video here and I'm controlling the gimbal. So that is outside my home, as you can see. Everything is okay. Let's go and test the drone outside. Now we are at the field. We are going to do the test flight of the unique Typhoon G uh, quadcopter. Putting all the propellers and everything. So we just need to press the start here. By pressing the start and holding it for a few seconds, the drone will be armed. Now I'm going to test the smart mode. I put the button at smart. At the smart mode, you can go very slow. And from here I'm switching the speed of the drone, how fast it goes. So you see the turtle and faster. So I'm gonna put it at the middle. And then 